Nick Rudder for the McKees 37 Trademark Garage. I think we can all agree on two things. Number one, perfectly dressed tires are the finishing touch on an otherwise pristinely clean, freshly detailed vehicle. Number two, if you're not using the right tire shine, it can wreak havoc on your freshly, pristined, perfectly detailed vehicle as well. Well, I'm excited to introduce McKees 37 Tire Shine which is SiO2 enhanced to give you a long lasting, deep black finish that's not gonna sling off. Now, for years, we've sold our gloss tire gel. That's one of our number one customer favorites, and for good reason. It's a thick lotion that applies nice and even to all tires. But a lot of customers were asking us for a spray, something that was a thinner viscosity, not so thick. Well, that's where this product fits in. Tire Shine SiO2 Enhanced. So this is a water-based protectant that's going to completely shield your tires against the damaging effects of UV rays, road salt, oil, grease and grime, and pretty much anything else that'll turn these bad boys from black to brown. Now Tire Shine SiO2 Enhanced is really easy to apply. I like applying it with our dual action trim and tire applicator sponge. And with this formula, it's a real thin viscosity, so a little bit goes an extremely long way. This 116 ounce bottle will last you an entire summer of weekend detailing. What you want to do first before you put any kind of tire shine on is to thoroughly clean the tires using McKees 37 Tire and Rubber Rejuvenator. You never paint over an existing wallpaper, do you? Well, no, it's, it's the same concept. You got to clean the surface first and it all comes down to proper prep. So thoroughly clean the tires using tire and rubber rejuvenator, spray a liberal amount on, wait for it to turn brown, and then scrub the tires using a short handle tire brush. Thoroughly rinse the tires off, let them dry, and then you can apply our tire shine. Now this product, shake it well. And when you're working on large SUV or truck tires, you may wanna apply it, spraying it directly onto the face of the tire. Anything that's not a big monster tire I like to apply it directly to our dual action trim and tire applicator. So when you're starting off with a fresh pad, to avoid overspray, you can bury the nozzle in the applicator pad. And what you're doing is you're priming it. Now these applicators are extra special because the foam is not gonna tear up as you go over the siphons and the grooves and the raised letters on your tire. So this is a closed cell foam that's very durable. And the backing here is a coarse foam that's easy to hold on to, even with slippery fingers. And there's a layer sandwiched between the two that's gonna prevent the product from soaking too deeply into the applicator sponge. So after you've primed it, just do a couple sprays, real light. Again, a little bit goes a long way. Take the product, and this is what I do when I'm just starting out. I have my sponge here, full of tire shine. I'm gonna dab it there, and I'm gonna dab it here because more often than not, when you're applying a product like this, you tend to apply it much thicker here and much thinner here. So this just helps spread it out. So take it, spread it out, and the first thing you'll notice, besides the fantastic smell of our tire shine, is how far it goes. Now a little bit of this goes an extremely long way. And what it's gonna do is it's going to restore the rubber conditioners that the tire manufacturer puts in the tire. That way over time, it's gonna stop the tire from cracking and fading and turning brown and just looking awful. And even though it looks uniformly applied right now, I still like to really work it in. And like I mentioned, the dual action trim and tire applicator sponge, no matter how often you do this, this is never gonna get chewed up by the raised letters, the siphons in the tire, um, the aggressive tread patterns. It's gonna keep going and going and going. Get yourself a three pack of these. They're fantastic. Now, depending on how much gloss you like, you can either leave it alone the way it is now, or you can wait a few minutes and apply more. With this product, it's very unique because the SiO2 acts as a, uh, almost like a catalyst that keeps everything together. And that's why this tire shine lasts so long. You can apply one coat for a deep, 
like new satin black appearance, or you can wait a few minutes and slap another coat on for a high gloss shine. On some tires, as this product dries, it might look blotchy or uneven. That's normal. When the product fully cures, it's gonna have a more uniform appearance. So if you apply it and if you stand back, which is not the case with this tire, but if it looks blotchy, trust the product. Do not grab a towel and try and wipe it around. That's gonna affect the bonding of the SiO2 as it forms a connection with the rubber. So you put it on, you wait a few minutes. Like I said, you can apply more. It's gonna dry to the touch relatively fast. It's not gonna sling off. It looks fantastic. And if your tires have never been dressed before or haven't been dressed in a few months, it may take more than one coat to get the finish you desire. That's McKee's 37 Tire Shine SiO2 Enhanced. If you just finished detailing your vehicle, everything looks great. Put the finishing touch on by giving your tires a deep black finish that's not gonna sling off, it's not gonna turn brown. What it's gonna do is it's gonna turn heads. I'm Nick Rudder for the McKees 37 Trademark Garage.